Hello! In this concept, we're going to learn about congruent angles and angle bisectors. But before we get into that, we first need to learn about what an angle is exactly. In an earlier concept, we learned that a ray is like a line that only extends infinitely in one direction and has an end point in the other direction. If you have two rays that extend from the same end point, then an angle is created. This part would be considered the angle, and we measure angles usually in degrees. The next thing we need to learn is how to name an angle. So in order to name an angle, you need to have a couple of points, or at least one point, on the angle. So I'm going to call this point A, this point B, and this point C. Now there's two ways that we could name this angle. The first way is that we could just call it angle B. And if we're just going to use one letter, we would always choose the letter at the vertex. Now say we had a picture like this that had basically four angles in it and we again had A, B, C right here. In this case, I wouldn't want to say angle B to refer to this angle because angle B is ambiguous. It could mean any of these four angles going around. In that case, you need to name an angle using three letters. And you can always name an angle with three letters if you want. It's just sometimes you can name it with one letter if it's not ambiguous. So if you want to name it with three letters, you basically just go around the angle and you'll hit three points, in this case A, B, C, and that's what we call it, angle A, B, C. An alternative to that would be angle CBA. That would be the same thing except just in the other order. The key thing that's important is that the B has to be the center letter. We couldn't say angle ACB because in this picture ACB isn't even really an angle. There's nothing there that's an angle. Now that we know how to name angles, we're going to talk about angle bisectors. So let's draw a new angle. Now, think about what you know, if anything, about the word bisector or bisect. Bisect is a portion of the word bisector. The word bisect means to cut in half. So a bisector is something that cuts something else in half. If it's an angle bisector, it's going to be a segment or a line or array that cuts an angle in half. So in this case, if I were to draw in this red line, this would be approximately the angle bisector, assuming that these angles are the same. So if this was 30 degrees and this was 30 degrees, then this would be the angle bisector, the red line. So the thing you need to know is that an angle bisector cuts an angle in half. The last thing you need to know is how to know if two angles are congruent. So what if I hadn't told you that those two angles were 30 degrees? There's a way to notate this in math. What you do is have similar marks in each, on each of the angles. So having this one arc on each angle actually notates or shows us that the two angles are the same. If you have a picture where there are multiple angles, so if we go back over to here, I could say that this angle is congruent to this one with one arc each, and this angle is congruent to this one with two arcs each. And the double arcs match up and the single arcs match up. At this point, you should watch the next video, which will go through some examples of working with congruent angles and angle bisectors.